Wednesday, October 20th, 2021. I'm the upcycler with Spice Electric. And this is a solar powered clothes dryer. I'll tell you why it was a bit later. But, uh, how does it work? It's got, uh, tumbler here come out of an old dryer that uh was junk these, these covers come off an old fan that was junk these caster wheels come off a broken dolly it was junk but the wheels are still good the nightstand was junk and most of the wood is pallet wood recycled pallet wood upcycled let's say we say Got us a solar panel from the Goodwill for 20 bucks. It's a good deal. Got us a 12 volt fan. Blows down. And the fan is positioned right here beneath the solar panel. And it gets hot. You know, when sunshine on it, a solar panel will get pretty hot. So the theory is this machine is going to be blowing hot air down through here while it's spinning, drying the clothes. I got the motor, the original motor was a drill I found in a dumpster, cordless drill, but it was too slow. So I took a motor off of a bilge pump. The bilge pump had quit working, the pump part, but the motor still spun. So uh, apparently the motor's still good. It's spinning here. I got us an inverter here. So that'll do is, uh, That'll, from this 12 volt machine, it's gonna give us 120 volts. Regular house current, you know? But we won't need that today. I'm not gonna need it when I do the uh, solar powered clothes washer. Because everything here is, is operating off of 12 volts, which is charged for the panel. And, uh, let me show you a few things. Okay. I'm not exactly sure how to hold this 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 uh camera, but um anyways, our main puppy here is the solar charge controller, which takes the excited electrons that are spinning about from this solar panel. Coming from our buddy, the sun. So you have a, uh, two wires coming from the panel, a positive and a negative going into the machine. You got two wires coming out of here, positive and negative, going down to charge a battery. You have to have a battery to make this machine, this uh, solar panel work. You got two wires here, positive and negative, which basically runs the whole machine. It uh, makes it spin. It has the uh, the fan blow. We got us a timer here, and that will serve as the timer that usually comes with a closed dryer. A circuit breaker for safety. A thermometer. And a voltage meter. Got a 12 volt plug that I plug that's um, that runs the fan. Supplies power to the fan. Now the main battery is right here. This thing makes so much electricity that I'm able to charge the battery out of my truck right now. So it's making it's making more than it needs. And so it's able to store it. So technically, you only need one battery to make the solar power work. But you could add as many batteries, I don't know, maybe up to five or six that will keep charged. 
So you have basically who have a machine that uses its own electricity, stores its own electricity, and supplies electricity to charge or work other things, such as this is my this is the drill I was telling you about. It didn't have a battery. You know how batteries are expensive. So what we did, we just uh, wired right into it. And you can hook it up to any 12 volt battery. And as long as you have a good connection. You're spinning, you're drilling. You're screwing, whatever you want to do. Extra juice. Okay, there's the motor right there. That motor turns that belt. That belt turns the drum. And everything's gonna spin. I added, see the brush right there? The brush right there, the brush right there. So the theory is when it spins, it's gonna be brushing to close uh, the lint. You know, it'll brush the lint off because nobody likes lint on their clothes. That's just the extra feature, not necessary. Now the drum, it did not have these holes in it. I drilled all these holes in it. So when the fan's blowing, it blows down through there and it blows out both sides. This is here anyways, we're gonna try it here in a minute. So, without further ado, I'm gonna put some clothes in it. You can see that, but that's, uh, that should help. All right, that's yeah, close. Need this right now. Set our timer. We got 13.9 volts. It's excellent. And there she goes. <laughs> excellent. Well, let me show you a couple things about this uh, voltage regulator here. So you got. 12.4 right there, right? Watch what happens. You turn it off and you get the real reading of how many voltage you got and what's charging here. So we got 12.8. We got three bars on the controller. We got... That's working good. I suppose, I'm not sure what else I could show you about it. Except for some more washing of the clothes. Uh, oh, look, we're up to 13.1. That didn't take but a minute to get from our 12.4 to 13.2. That's impressive. So that's telling you right there, this thing is making a lot of electricity. And what we shall do, is, do 
didn't turn our fan on the last time. This is our fan. I'll wire it in to where it'll operate with the timer, with the machine in sequence, you know, just like a regular dryer would. Now, all the tweaking I have to do is to get a voltage regular put on here. I got one ordered for not much, $5. That's gonna allow me to beat the current to the tumbler and the fan so they won't fight each other trying to get the, the most electricity. This is blowing hot air out down to the, the clothes. I have a couple settings for the fan. Got 12.4 volts. Timer set for 30 minutes. Probably won't need it that, need the whole 30 minutes out here. It's hot out here today. We got quite a few closes in it. Uh, 15 pieces right there. And I'm using a used motor off a of bilge pump. So the motors for 12 volts are not that much. So I'm gonna get a new motor. This is the prototype. See if everything's gonna work. Because last thing you want is for the, to spin too fast and then all the clothes are stuck to the side of the, the drum, not tumbling. So you got some tumbling action going on right there. That's helping it dry. Okay. Well, we will be back with our solar powered washing machine in the next video. But thank you for watching.